Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer Disc Best. Thank you for watching. I know y'all thinking to yourself, or some of y'all probably are, uh, Jimmy, you're a big fat liar. You said the last video of this truck might be the last time you see it looking like this. Well, I honestly thought it was, but I have forgotten something. And uh, I talked to Brian. His name is GM1038 on YouTube. If you're wanting to keep up with this truck or any of the other trucks that I've have now or have had, I mean, it's been a bunch. Same way with Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop. He's on Facebook, Gas X Chop Shop, Axis AXE. You can scroll through and see all the old trucks that I used to own. It's been worked on, welded on, whatever. This truck, Tyler, the 85C10 truck, goes by the name of Tyler. Uh, I was watching my video. And I'm glad that I did because I forgot to put my door in the back. My driver's side door. So that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, let me get in here. I hope I have a good battery connection. I hope. Man, it is hot 30. But uh, I've kind of got everything ready to go for Brian. And he's he said he's going to try to finish up my... 03 Chevy Silverado cat eye truck. But I thought since I had to put the door in the back, I'd let it run for just a few minutes. Come on, buddy. You can do it. It's damp here, and I need to replace the belt or tighten it up or something, evidently. It's got a 305 with a 350. But getting back on the point, what I was talking about, uh, the, I have a spare door back there that I'm so glad I watched my old video because I, I'm i telling you guys, I can't remember nothing with all the stress going on at the moment in my life and Mrs. P.I.B.'s life with her mother uh, being in an assisted living facility, nursing home, whatever you want to call it. They change the names on everything, seems like. But uh, this stob at the bottom of this window right here is broke. So I have a door back in the backyard, and I, I, I meant to get it, and I kept forgetting to get it. So it's on my mind right now, and Brian said that when he brings my... If I'm not home for some reason, and we're at the assisted living facility... Uh, he can bring the cat eye truck to me and he'll drive this back to his garage. So I got to make sure all my stuff is in the truck. So I'm just, I'm just grateful I had enough sense to remember to get the door. It'd be good for it to let it run for just a minute any, anyway. Well, I sure do like this truck. If I can just back it out now without hitting anything. That would be awesome. Okay, I think I got it. I'm just going to let it run for just a few minutes. Let me move over just a little. Man, it's about... It's about 150 degrees in this truck, even in the shade. So, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't remember if I moved the trash can or not. It just dawned on me. I forgot to put the door in the back. I'm going to let it run for just a minute. Because it'll be real good for it. Let's see. I just got to situate it where the door will go in without breaking anything let, let me pause this and let, I'll have to move some stuff around hang on guys okay I moved a couple things around I'm hoping to put the door right up here let's walk back to the backyard and get it I would drive back there but my yard is so wet from all the rain we've had I know I mention that all the time in videos but honest to goodness guys this yard 
and the sun's been shining on it all day but I mean it's just we've had a lot of rain and I don't want to mar up in the yard which I have done before if you're new to the channel this is 84 Chevy C10 truck left turn bill and this is a 78 C10 truck Billy James here's the door I'm speaking about and see it's got a good a good uh, rod stob whatever you want to call it so I gotta take all this stuff apart and put this in the truck so I have to have both hands I'm on I'm the only person here at the moment so let me get at it and uh, I'll get back with you in just a minute we'll see what it looks like hopefully it oh <laughs> hopefully I won't break nothing but this is why I'm a parts hoarder because you never know when you're gonna need something I'm gonna you're probably asking yourself and I started to do this to take the old vent window out well to take this vent window out well I was started to do that and then I thought you know Brian GM Tim 38 on YouTube Brian uh, he's gonna maybe put some new electric motors in the 85 C10 truck I just showed you Tyler so I'm gonna have him if he doesn't mind to put the old vent window in this in case I buy a C10 truck one day that needs a door or a window at least I've got the window right I mean it's easy to chug a lug everything, but it's when it gets time to find something, or for me, speaking for me, I can't seem to find it. So this is why I'm a parts hoarder. So let me get at it. I'll be right back. Well, guys, I got the door in. My, I don't know what happened if I accidentally deleted the rest of the video or what, but I got it strapped in with some string so it won't blow up going to GM 1038's Brian on YouTube. And uh, be sure to be sure to subscribe to his channel because he's fixing to start working on this thing, lowering it, putting, doing all kinds of stuff. You might find it pretty interesting, and uh, I think he's going to show you how to lower it. So this 85 C10. Also, somebody mentioned about a uh, window shades, the chrome window shades that goes up here. I got them today or yesterday. So I'm just going to have him put them on and uh, he's bringing my cat eye truck now so uh appreciate y'all watching thanks guys i appreciate it y'all have a blessed day today and uh we'll keep you posted god bless y'all see you later